First look at the Pixel 5 ROM based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Pixel 5 ROM based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, this is the first beta build of this ROM and the security patch is from October 5th, 2020. The kernel they are using is Immensity kernel. Now, since this is the Pixel 5 ROM, you do get all the Pixel goodies baked in. So you do have Google Keep, Pixel Launcher, Podcasts, Recorder, and the new safety application as well. And here it is, we can have a look at our recents there it is working like a boss everything is super smooth the select feature works absolutely fine take a screenshot works absolutely fine as well share it and you have the quick share menu press and hold on any application and you can now pin it to your quick share menu if you swipe towards the right hand side you do have your google feed again everything is super fast there are no jitters and no lags in your google feed as well as for the volume panel this is how the volume panel looks like expand it and you have the different options at the bottom of your screen next up let us have a look at the quick setting tiles and before we do that when you access your notification shade and your quick setting tiles you do have the blur effect and the zoom effect working absolutely fine these are the different quick setting tile options which are there in case you want to add more tap on the edit icon and these are the other ones which are available which you can add unfortunately when you click on the three dot menu on the top right you do not have the option of customizing the number of quick setting icons which you can see in portrait and in landscape mode then you also have android 11 screen recorder which does let you record microphone and device audio at the same time and we can check if there are any lags when you start the screen recorder so as you just heard the notification sound screen recording has started and nope there are no lags in the system ui when you start the screen recorder and try to record device audio and microphone at the same time Next up, as you can see, you do have the Android 11 Easter egg along with bubbles working absolutely fine. No issues to report here as well. And in case you want to access your notification history, you can swipe down and here is the history option. Do note that you have to enable this from settings and then you can go into apps and notification, notifications, notification history. Make sure that the toggle is enabled then we can head over to settings and if you go into wi-fi tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you have the option of disconnect select advanced and you also have the option to auto connect on a per wi-fi basis the only issue i noticed is that it doesn't connect to 5 gigahertz wi-fi only 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi works as of now and the other bug which i found in this build is that bluetooth is currently broken however they do have a fix in their group which i haven't tried but if and when i try it and it works i will mention it in the pinned comment on this video as for their telegram group you can find the link in the description of this video next up we can head over to apps and notification see all apps go into camera go into permissions and let us select microphone so you have three options allow only while using the app ask every time or deny and you also have a toggle to remove permissions if the app isn't used for some time going back into the main page of apps and notifications you do have priority conversations they work absolutely fine we already talked about notification history and bubbles also work do note that bubbles is not supported by certain applications like whatsapp for now next up we have the option of battery so you do have the toggle to enable or disable battery percentage and as you can see i have been using this build for more than a day now and there is no excessive battery drain and the idle overnight drain was like two percent for 12 hours next up we can head over to display so you do have adaptive brightness and it does work absolutely fine you also have the option of setting a time for your dark theme something which google added with android 
11 and if you head into styles and wallpapers these are the different wallpaper options you have you do have a few pixel 5 wallpapers which are already baked into this build and another thing is on top you will see a preview so this is your home screen preview of the wallpaper and this here is your lock screen preview of the wallpaper go into style these are the different themes which are baked in tap on the plus sign and you can add your own custom theme so these are the different font options which you have then you have different icon options as well then you have multiple accent color options in this build and these are the different icon shapes which are baked into this build once you have decided your style give it a name save it and as you can see right now i do have a custom style with teardrop icons and the red accent color working like a boss and you can also access this styles and wallpapers from the home screen as well go into grid and you can choose your grid size of the icons for the home screen as well going back into display you do have screen timeout auto rotate screen colors you can set four different options so you have natural boosted saturated and adaptive then you can configure your font size display size go into lock screen and you can also enable always on display which does work absolutely fine there it is AOD in the building working like a boss let me try to bring my phone closer here it is and FOD also works absolutely fine on the always on display and this might be another bug that the FOD icon is now stuck so let me reboot my device once now that we have booted back let us try to unlock it and yes you do need to enter your pin once the device restarts and now we can head back into settings and display and we can go back into lock screen so you do have the toggle to enable or disable show lockdown option and here it is lockdown option working absolutely fine now playing of course is broken right now and you also have double tap to wake which works absolutely fine so here it is double tap to wake working like a boss and another thing i like to check is i'll go into display turn off adaptive brightness and then reduce the brightness level to zero now you won't be able to see anything but i am and here it is fod works absolutely fine on your zero brightness as well so let me turn back adaptive brightness on and there it is that was our check to ensure that fod is good on this build next up we can head over to sound so in sound you do have the new do not disturb which can be configured on a people basis app basis and alarm basis and you can also of course schedule your do not disturb as well as for the other options you also have direct sound enhancer baked into the build in terms of security we already talked about the fingerprint on display unfortunately you do not have the option of face unlock on this build jumping over to system you can customize your pop-up camera so you have a toggle to enable or disable the led then these are the different pop-up camera sounds you can have and yes you do have the new star wars sounds baked in and in case your pop-up camera is stuck you also have the option to calibrate your front camera motor jumping over to gestures you have system navigation so you can choose between two different styles the old three button style or the gesture navigation and go into settings and you can configure the sensitivity on the left edge and the right edge independently then you also have prevent ringing by pressing and holding volume up and power at the same time and you can also configure whether you want to see device controls or not then we can go into developer options so here with android 11 you can use adb wirelessly and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the refresh rate so here it is show refresh rate on the top left you will see the 60 appear and disappear next up the build also comes with google camera baked in and you are able to access all three lenses and this is pretty good that you have a gcam baked in so you don't have to worry about finding a gcam for this build next up we can open the youtube application and check for media playback and picture in picture so here it is a clip from the movie matrix of course it is muted right now so that i do not get a copyright strike and next up we can try to check for picture in picture so here it is picture in picture works absolutely fine and you can also enable live caption to see if that works and with 
Android 11 you can of course resize your picture in picture and right now there is no spoken words being said in the video and they are saying it right now there it is you can see that live caption kicked in and it does work absolutely fine on this build next up we can move over to checking for the media controls in your quick settings panel so let me open youtube music and we can try to play some music on my device here it is let us play this and here it is you can see that youtube music along with your media controls in the notification shade are working absolutely fine and since bluetooth is broken we will not be able to check the feature wherein you can switch the media output from say the phone speaker to a bluetooth device next up you can check for safety net so safety net does not pass if your device is not rooted however once you root your device and enable magic hide you can check again and unfortunately safety net does not pass even after enabling magisk hide next up let us check for the widevine l1 support so we can open the drm info application and as you can see widevine is set as l1 which means you should be able to stream your favorite hd content in terms of gestures and smoothness there it is you can see that the rom is pretty smooth even my google feed works without any lags there it is no lags no jitters everything is super fast and super smooth now what about the daily driver status of this build well it might be a deal breaker for some of you because one you have the 5 gigahertz wi-fi issue then you have bluetooth not working safety net does not pass which means you might not be able to use your banking apps but all in all a pretty good build for a first beta and the rom does look pretty promising and before i forget let us check for google assistant as well so as you can see you do have the new ui on the bottom but this is not google assistant 2.0 so that is another bummer for this build but as i mentioned earlier the rom does look promising and i would wait for the next beta to see if the issues are ironed out and there it is peeps that was our first look at the pixel 5 rom based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you